Welcome back to Dynamite Bros. I'm Jason, and this is your host, Andrew. Suck my dick. Maybe later. <clears throat> What's. Why does everything have to be so phallic with you? Every day it's like, eat my asshole or suck my dick. Well, because, like, I. You and I have a strong bond, and. Yeah, but, like. You can be secure in your masculinity without having to reaffirm penises and assholes all the time. Uh, it's not about referring to my masculinity, it's just that, you know, like, I, I enjoy being so close to you. Yeah, but we're not Siamese twins, you know. That's right, it's the only time when your tongue and my asshole can be one. Oh, or my, my dick God. and your butt hole, you know? Like true friends. Uh, <laughs> you know, there was an article I read um, where it was trying to play down um, gay people by saying something along the lines of, like, um, there's this thing called guy bros or guy friends or some, some stupid name like that, where apparently, um, uh, it's like having a best friend except every once in a while you blow each other. And I'm just like, well, I'm pretty sure they have a name for that. It is called gay, but whatever, sure. And they did the same thing for like women too. They're like, oh, uh, you having a best friend that occasionally eats you out? Well, that is your girlfriend. Or like, it was called like a gal pal or something like that. Like they tried to make this new term for it. And I'm just like, you know, I'm pretty sure that's just called lesbian, but okay, whatever you say. Um, or bisexual, I'm not, I'm not judging. Or whatever other sexuality you want to be, man, go ahead. Um, but like, you know, that like, it, that article was trying to downplay gay, uh, like, gay people by saying like, Oh, sometimes you just need a best friend who blows you, you know? Like, you just need that blowjob and help you through the day. Yeah, that's why I have you for. <laughs> I can relate to what this guy says. What? I, I relate to what this guy says. Ugh. Dude, be serious for a second. I'm trying to talk about something serious. What? I know. Like, what? So, do you want to know what game I've been playing lately? Uh, Eat Andrew's ha Asshole? That's not a video game. Although, if it was one, I would be very intrigued as to what the point of view of that game would be. Would you be staring down the crack of someone's ass or would you? Would it be pitch black because you've closed your eyes and you're trying to focus on eating the asshole? I have no idea. Okay. Anywho. So notice how, you know, when I get closer. It flips. Yes. Yes, interesting. And when I walk away. Oh. And this is what I needed Funky's upgrade for. Well, for, for one of them anyway. Okay. So you're gonna make it go pew pew? Yep, and now I can swing on those vines. Ooh. On those uh, chains, if you will. Uh, what, cause you can't walk on the ground? Yeah, otherwise it turns, it hides the banana. Interesting. Interesting, very interesting. Anywho, so lately I've been playing Dragon Age Origins. And I gotta say, it's a masterful video game. Great characters, great story, although it does in some way feel reminiscent a little bit of, of Game of Thrones when you think about it. But then again, it drew its inspiration from Game of Thrones. Um, and one of the character's swords, Oathkeeper, is actually named after, uh, I think, Brienne's sword, which is also named I'm Oathkeeper. pretty sure that's also the name of a keyblade in Kingdom Hearts. Yes, it is. A keyblade in Kingdom Hearts is also called Oathkeeper. Or do you think it's Oathbreaker? Oath Keeper, I think. Oath. Uh, it's Oath something. Yeah. Anywho, um, so yeah, so, um, but the game came out before the show came out. Like, don't, don't, um, don't get that confused. So it was based off the book's interpretation of the Brienne and the sword and all that stuff. So they were drawing heavily from the dark fantasy of George R. R. Martin, who at the time- George R. R. Martin. George R. R. Martin. So they were only drawing off the books. They weren't drawing off the show. So that's just a little bit more interesting in my opinion um, 
that there was already this kind of growing popularity in pop culture that made it to video games and then years later an actual you know show came out of uh um game of thrones uh let's see i think dragon age origins came out in 2009 so it would be three years later because i think i think game of thrones started in 2011 i think so yeah that's cool and um the characters are cool too and it doesn't make your main character some kind of prince or... Well, it depends on the origin you choose. Like, you can choose the human origin, so you're technically a lord's son. Um, or you could choose one of two elf origins, or you could choose one of two um, dwarf origins. Actually, one of the dwarf origins, you technically are a prince or princess of the kingdom. But it's fine. Why is it fine? Why? Because, um, you lose the ability to become the leader of your nation because you become a Grey Warden or some other stuff. I don't remember if the If I Dwarf touch Warden. the screen slime, it is instant death. Okay, so, so do you like to imagine that it's the plague from World of Warcraft? I like to imagine it's deadly stuff that I shouldn't touch. Whew. Okay, I mean... Yeah, but what if it was the plague from World of Warcraft? That'd be cool too, right? I don't know. I don't remember if it came in, uh... It was in liquid form. Liquid form? It was in gas form. No, there's also the liquid form in the other city. Uh, the, 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 the other city. Was that the plague? Uh, it's... It's not water. I'll... I'll... I'll I'm pretty sure it's not water. <clears throat> Or anyway, we're doing another bonus steak. Welcome to bonus steak. Bonus steak. Wow, they are moving real fast. Wow, they are just all over the place. Yeah, this this level doesn't fuck around. Well, it is the second to last level, so. You are, dude, you are just missing a whole bunch of them. <laughs> yeah, I gotta get behind. Why don't you just shoot in a whole row, get ammo, and then just keep shooting in a row? Just, like, don't worry about, like, you know. Like, do you need at least one melon to get melons back, or? What are you talking about? The, the, the middle reloads. I know, but do you need at least one or no? Even if you're out, you can still reload. You can still reload. Why not? I don't know, I just thought maybe, oh, you need at least one melon to reload. I don't know. Just like, Is... keep shooting in a line. Like, if they pop up, they pop up. If they don't, then they don't. I'm doing a lot better than before. Yes, that's true. But you're still missing some. You wanna try? No, I, I really don't feel like it. Don't talk shit! I'll talk all the shit I want on your pose. Oh, you almost got it, you almost got it. There you go. Woo! Well done. Congratulations on your bonus stake. Now how do you get out of here? Same way you came in? Yup. Alright, this is gonna be fun. Up, up, and away you go! Oh, you you played a you took a risk there, my friend. Oh, oh, that risky risk. You don't need the coin. You got fucking a hundred coins, and you don't even we, need them anymore. Yeah, there's nothing else for us to buy in this game. We bought everything. Oh, did you now? I got a pillow this time, so you can go fuck yourself. No, no, you're playing a show! You're playing a show! Balance must be achieved! <laughs> you're playing a show! You're playing a show! Stop it! You're doing the show! You're doing the show! You're doing the show! Stop, you're doing the show! Got it! Ah! 
Okay. You're doing your show! Balance in the universe has been attained. Ugh. Okay. God damn it. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> You're an asshole. <laughs> Uh, I think I go this way. <laughs> uh, actually, my bicep feels a little sore because you kept pressing into it with your leg. <laughs> I'm an expert titty twister. What can I say? Yeah, apparently you are. Oh, teach me, masterful one. Okay. No, not through <laughs> example. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, is this the other side? Yeah, we're back out here. Yay! This level feels very strange. It feels very short. Like, very small. Like, what's going on here? What is this place? Um, it is a place of... Death! Yes. So, if you were to open up and say... Well, okay. As a Star Wars fan, Ow. Uh, as a Star Wars fan, yes. If a girl were to contact you, or if you were to contact a girl, would you rather open up with Obi Wan Kenobi's "Hello there," or would you open up with "Have you ever heard the tragedy of Darth Nagus the Wise?" Which one would you rather open up with? Mm. Now. There you go. So yeah, which one would you rather open up with? Um... Well, is she with the light side or the dark side? Pretty much. Uh, wait, what? Is she with the dark side or you the don't light know. side? You don't know. You don't know. This is just a hot chick. Well, then I would just open up with a regular conversation line. No, no, no. I gave you two choices. Hello there, or... Have you ever heard of the tragedy of Darth Plagueis the Wise? Hmm, I gotta hit those targets. You also need Funky's upgrade to, to complete this part, otherwise you cannot hit those targets. Ah. Timed? No, it's not <laughs> timed. But first, I hear a golden fairy. Uh, a golden fairy. A banana fairy. I mean, what if they are actually called golden they're not, fairies? They're not called that. They're called banana fairies. <clears throat> oh good, you got it. Good, good shot, good shot. Let me guess, you gotta hit like two or three more. Mm-hmm. Right. Uh. Five. <clears throat> the water level keeps rising, Captain. What will we do? Well, nothing. I don't know why the water level's rising. The water's not coming in from anywhere, it's just... coming in! Are you almost there yet? Do you have to hit another one? I'm gonna go with no. Oh my god, she is so... fantastic. <laughs> Does it have to keep showing you the failed footage? Yes, it must, cause, because fuck us, that's why. Yep, fuck us, apparently. I could literally just grab her. What? I see her fucking face. But she's not centered. That's how you capture her soul, when she's centered. I mean, why don't you just leave your camera in that corner and wait till she comes there? Because she spends a good, like, second there. Like, yeah, like, right there. Just wait. Okay. And now we play the waiting game. What? That did... No, no, no. What the fuck? Just, just go back to the corner and then just like aim it a little lower, I guess. I don't know. Do 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 do. What do, the fuck? Do 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 do. How's it not count? Do 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 
Do, 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 do. Wait, do, what the f- do. Why don't you just get the banana? <clears throat> Thank you. Like there, just aim at that corner. Like you're trying to chase her, you're not- I almost got her. You're- you're wasting your own time. Like, look how much time she spends in that corner. She wasn't doing that- <sighs> Just- Stalk the corner! Just camp the corner, there you go. Just wait. <sighs> Ooh. I, I, I think I have to move around, otherwise, like, she sees the camera and she moves, I think. I don't think it's a set pattern. I think it might be a set pattern. I think it just has two different variables. <sighs> it's in the center! No, not centered off, apparently. What? I saw it turn green! What? Did she literally just jerk, like, one inch to the side? She moved lazily to the left. <laughs> oh my god, they're moving lazily to the left! Man, this bitch knows maneuvers! I know, right? Oh! <sighs> I told you to wait in the corner! But if I had waited, she would have not have gone there. I don't- I didn't know that they made the AI that smart. Anywho, I, I, next anyway, episode! I think. Next episode. Do we really want to do a next episode? Yes, C next episode. Cause like, wh what time are we at? What? 17. Oh, uh, alright, fine. Next episode, goodbye. See you guys.